Hi friends, this is Wani and welcome to Wani's house. This past weekend, I attended Pier 1's Live, Love, Give event and it was amazing. In this video, I'm going to share with you what we learned at this um, event as well as I'm flashing some pictures so that you can see some of the amazing and beautiful items that they are carrying this spring. They have all of your flamingos and pineapples, decor and motifs this year. Everything is very on trend. For your seafood boils, they have their sea and like oceanic type um, of decor. And they have your decor, of course, for your outdoor patio. And the best part of this event was your girl won a gift card. I was so happy and you will see in a later video what I purchased with my gift card as well as my Pier 1 cash. I always have to have that in an upcoming video in a haul. So guys, we're going to go ahead and start this video. I um, wanted to give you a few um, notes uh, real quick. Obviously, we're going to get the bags out here in just a second. Um, our Magnolia bags, um, great little perk for coming in today and uh, letting us show you kind of our baskets and how to assemble one um, and how to um, just give a great gift. I wanted to also let you all know about our in-home delivery that just dropped from $169 to $99. Um, so it's a great deal. It's a white glove delivery um, on all of our furniture, anything that's in-home delivery available. Um, it's only $99 now for the foreseeable future. Um, so what that includes is they assemble everything, they unwrap it, um, it's brought to your home, it's put in the room of your choice, and then any trash is taken away. So mm. it's very easy for you, the customer. You don't have to come pick anything up. Um, you don't have to you know, try to get a truck or anything like that. It's all taken to your home. Um, generally within 14 days, um, lots, a lot of times very, very much sooner. So um, again, thank you all for coming. Um, Ariel is going to show you the uh, baskets that we have here and then in a little bit I'm going to kind of show you the table uh, setting in the back. You can kind of do an outdoor style table uh, for your Mother's Day event um, or any events you have coming up throughout the summer. So without further ado, Ariel, you can take it away. Is this a raffle prize? I'm oh yes, I'm sorry, the raffle, I'm sorry, we'll be doing the raffle at um, 3.30 <laughs> so you'll be listening to her a little bit. Um, we'll do those every half hour or so. Yeah. No, she was saying, was that Yeah, is this the raffle? No, 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 we're doing gift cards. Yeah, it's a $10 gift card. Okay, and 30 minutes. I'm going to be here to get the... I am going to be here. If you pick out items, I can help you assemble gift baskets and all that. So okay. I'm literally going to be standing here. You can come back with your items. We'll pick out a basket. We'll put it together. Add tissue paper. So you can purchase a basket made and walk out with it today of items of your choice. If you wanted to purchase these, we can try some per item and let you know. Sure. Okay. So, gift baskets are one of my specialties. I love them. I don't know about you, but for the people who are close to me in my life, I want to spend a good dollar amount on them, but it's not always a clear one single item. You get by with that with a gift basket. You can get a lot of smaller items that you know they'll love and just put it together, and it's a unified gift. So, who's ever made a gift basket or yeah. thought about it, they're really great. They're really great. These are some examples they want us to show you. So this one is a decorating, and then we have a dining and an entertaining. Of course, they're specialized for almost events. These would be items in her home that she likes. This would be almost a date, going out, serving for two. Then the other one is just to have this little activity for the kitchen. I'm going to be demonstrating this one, the decorating. So what you want to do, there's three steps to a gift basket. You want to pick a theme, you want to pick your items, and then you want to create it. So theme, this is more of a country theme. I'm not a fan of pink, so I'm going to be using more yellow tones. Same kind of principle. Um, and then you want to pick the basket after you've picked your items. Because you can start with a big basket. If your items aren't big, it's going to get lost not going to be cohesive. I'm going to start with this almost sheen pewter basket. I picked this because it will fit 
my pillow perfectly. I get to use less filler, and I like using less filler and nonsense. And then here we have some of my bigger items. You want to go from biggest to smallest. The point of a basket, of course, they all need to be displayed so they have that first look at all of the items together. You almost want them to be overwhelmed, like, oh, there's so much. So there's a lantern, and these are the fragrances I picked. I'm just going to have the lantern over on the side. It kind of just sits there. I have my tissue paper. To prop up some of my smaller items. Just going to crumple it in. Now you can use tissue paper. You can use raffia. You can use any kind of filler you want. Um, in the past, I've actually bought really cheap a yard of just tool, and that was what I wrapped the basket in and used as filler. Those are more elegant options. You want to do that? So we're just going to put enough in here. Just remember the items weigh down, so you almost want to put too much, so that by the time you get them in there, they sort of fall and set up. I'm making sure they're visible. And then I have my smaller items here. This is a little photo holder. It's a bicycle. Super cute. That's cute. That is cute. Very cute. My assistant manager, Miss Crystal, bought one before they were out on the floor. Like that's how cute they are. <laughs> have some picture frames. Can't go wrong with picture frames. Loved ones always need to be displayed in the home. So we're gonna do that. Of course, everything is useful. The candles, the lantern is decorative, the pillow can be put on a sofa. It all kind of ties together. I'm going to put this right here. You want your bird to be visible as well. And then I'm going to put the little bicycle. To finish it off, I have some florals. Even if you're not buying a whole vase or a full vase full of florals, you can give them some to spruce up what they already have. It never hurts. I'm just seeing where it would hit, bending the ends, so I can put it down in here behind the pillow. Of course, again, the pillow is going to hold that in place, which is great. That's why I picked this basket. If you're doing something like the entertaining basket in the middle, that took a lot of tissue paper. It's obviously a larger tote. You would want a tote in the long run, but for display purposes, it has a lot of filler. And then, I'm move this on this side. Make sure there's that pop of color. And there you go. If you wanted to go out and get the cling wrap that you anything to finish it off and it's just simple everything you picked out you wouldn't just give three florals by themselves but in a basket it makes sense so any questions all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video and this live love give event right in time for mother's day and i hope it gave you some ideas if you're not putting together a type of basket for your mother or someone, your loved one for Mother's Day. It gave you some ideas for that. Or even that um, entertaining basket with the leaves and the flamingos is absolutely beautiful. I think that was one of my favorites. And I also like the one that our demonstrator did as well. And that little bitty bike picture holder is adorable. I meant to get that. So I think I'm going to go back this week and get a couple if they're still there. But guys, let me know which one you like. What did you like about this event? If you attended the event, did they do a, a similar demonstration? I'm just, I just want to know because I can't be at many places at one time. And I'm just like really curious as to know if you attended what they did at your local Pier 1. I also want to thank my local Pier 1 in Fayetteville for always allowing me to come in there and videotape. And so I'm able to share my experience if you're not able to attend. So guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought about it down in the um, description box below. If you're new to Wani's house, I would love for you to subscribe. And as always, guys, 
whenever you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.